number one KFC apparently ran out of chicken. <laughs> Some of you dickheads called the police. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Mark, nice to meet you. Mark, this is not a trick question, Mark. Mark, do you know what Nando's is? Yeah, chicken restaurant. Um, Mark, on an average day, in one average Nando's, how many chickens do you reckon will go through that place? I don't mean go through like... <laughs> Mum! Not like that. I don't mean like that. I mean like, like get through. One average Nando's, one average day, how many chickens do you reckon they get through? 300 chickens! That's already a lot of... Guys, if there were 300 chickens in here, we would know. <laughs> that is already a lot of chickens. That's one Nando's in one day. Multiply that by the number of days that one Nando's is open in a year. Let's say it's 350 days of the year. That is now 105,000 chickens! My math is very good. That is a lot of chickens! That's just one restaurant in one year. Multiply that by all the Nando's in the country. That is approximately 447, I checked it is. That is now, like, 10 million chickens! Just in Nando's! Therefore, it must be safe to assume that KFC must be going through that many chickens. All those knockoff chicken shops that my people love to open, they must be going through that many chickens. <laughs> All the restaurants like Pizza Express and restaurants that are not Pizza Express, they must be going through that many chickens. All the supermarkets that we buy chicken from to cook at home, they must be going through that many chickens. That's like a hundred million chickens just in one country. Multiply that by 195 sovereign countries. Billions! Billions and billions of chickens! No wonder they say, don't count your chickens. Where would you stop? <laughs> Some of you are looking at me like I'm exaggerating. I am not ex- oh my god. Ex? <laughs> I've just been talking about the chickens that we're eating. What about the chickens that we're not eating because they're laying the eggs? Eggs are in everything. Cakes, biscuits. I've eaten a lot of things. Okay, hang on. Uh, let me work this out. There's all these chickens over here that we're eating, of which have established as billions. There's all these chickens over here that we're not eating, of which there must be some billion because they're laying all the eggs. And the eggs are split into eggs that we're eating, and eggs that we're not eating because they're growing up to be split into chickens that we're eating, and chickens that we're not eating because they're laying the eggs that are split into eggs that we're eating, and eggs that we're not eating because they have to grow up and are split into chickens that we're eating, and chickens that we're not eating because they're laying the eggs that are split into eggs that we're eating, and eggs that we're not eating because they're growing up and are split into chickens that we're eating, and chickens that we're not eating because they're laying the eggs that are split into eggs that we're eating, and eggs that we're not eating because they have to grow up and are split into chickens that we're eating, and chickens that we're not eating because they're laying the eggs that are split into eggs that we're eating, and eggs that we're not eating because they're growing up to be split into chickens that be fucking hell. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Where are the chickens? Guys, I drove down to London from Blackburn. I came down the M6, the M1. Very nice scenery, spectacular. I saw horses, cows, sheepses, goatses. I don't know, a single fucking chicken, and there's more chicken than all those things put together. I saw four cats and two dogs outside this bloody building. There's zero chickens backstage. I check before every single show. <laughs> Does anyone here own chickens? Then where are the chickens then? <laughs> I found out in my research that chickens originate from the Indian subcontinent. They're Asian. <laughs> This is fucking personal. Because if it can happen to them... <laughs> I don't want to sound like some sort of David Icke conspiracy nutter, but I'm starting to suspect foul play. <laughs> no, no, do not do that. This is not a joke. All right, this is a very serious subject. I'd appreciate some decorum. You don't see chickens anywhere. You don't see them on the roofs, in playgrounds, in car parks, running around in your front garden. It's almost like, I don't know, like, they must be trapped underground in a cage or something, which makes no sense, given we're a country that loves animals so much, apparently. I guess it begs the question, the age-old philosophical question that man and woman has been wrestling with since the dawn of time. What came first, London? What did come first? The chicken or rampant capitalism? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.